here are the resource links. Um, this is probably not including all of the different things that, uh, that have been covered, but this is a, it's a good snapshot. Uh, first, there's creating and managing processes. Process suite was mentioned. Uh, a lot of the, the creating is basically in the presentation itself. How to do that, then choosing the tools. A um, yeah, couple of good uh, points from the, the process side. Then sales tools, also resources. So this process street, it's a process management tool, but they have a lot of value that they're doing as their own content marketing about why processes, how processes, and so forth. When it comes to sales and knowledge, Closio is the same thing. It's an online service for uh, salespeople and sales processes, uh, but they deliver enormous amounts of value as content marketing about sales tactics, sales things. Other tools in this context, Pipedrive, uh, School of Herring's Knowledge, uh, then managing and scaling, you, you can have, this gets more in the, in the project management tools, you can have Pipeify, you can have Trellos, uh, so forth, uh, just Google Spreadsheets uh, or Google Docs uh, overall. Newsletter tools, you have MailChimp, you have, that's the most common known, but then there's alternative options if MailChimp is too limiting for, for certain aspects or it's not combined with the website uh, management tools of your choice. Uh, lead feeder, uh, lead feeder gives more insight into people visiting and organizations visiting on your website. So not just seeing the numbers, but actually seeing organizations specifically useful for B2B sales. Um, intercom is creating automation on the customer interface. So those in your funnel, in the lake, being communicated, or those using your product to pull insights and to uh, do cohorts analysis based uh, communication for them. So if certain group of users are onboarding the product, but they're only using it once a week, you could segment them and create a dedicated communication to, to start uh, sending them messages, but not bother anyone else. HubSpot, of course, one of the, the, the biggest, uh, most known tools of uh, combining everything around sales and marketing. Uh, stack. Looking at uh, uh, additional links uh, the, about the sales uh, by Dan Lok that was covered in one slide with YouTube video for more elaboration on that. Growth hacking in general, there's growth hackers. Uh, again, growth hacking, there's tools and then there's valuable content marketing they're doing, so valuable content to, to leverage. Um, customer relationship at scale. Uh, this is uh, obviously in, intercom is twicely here. Okay. Um, Henry Ward on hiring. So more about hiring and firing uh, and, and rationale on that. So when you look at uh, building an organization and you look at uh, hiring, uh, look at that in context of startups. So not all HR communication is relevant or useful uh, if it's not done in context of, of, of startups and growing companies or innovative companies. <clears throat> Phil Salter on scaling, it's good, good, very basic, basic and, and good insights and, and core uh, fine uh, points on, on scaling. And then uh, uh, Randit, it's a founder friend, friend investor reporting tool. It's not only the full reporting, uh, it's also a good way to actually start the communication and learn about the investors and get into that. But mainly it is started from a uh, tool for investors first so that they can get good reporting from startups that they have invested to and startups that are growing. Uh, so you can imagine that then there are also good channel for, for investors. So look at that, that, that as a tool from the uh, investor reporting. And then of course, YouTube for any relevant keywords that come to your mind from this material and presentation, 
and when the, the point is that when you are actually working on that uh, and then come back to these topics uh, into into this material and then look at the keywords and then take a deeper time and ex extended perspective into other material uh, you can always find more the point of um, this curriculum is really to get a complete overhaul of the entire process of creating uh, innovative startups from nothing to to maturity and all of the different considerations needed uh, but not in a, a too much of a detail on every single aspect that is then more time bound also on new learnings and tactics and tools available so therefore check what is then relevant uh, this at the time that you are facing facing those topics